when designing a product, you know, you start with a problem. For me, it starts with frustration. And you try to figure out what's the best technology to solve that problem. I stumbled on the thermostat problem and I was absolutely frustrated. There were no good solutions to actually save energy and look beautiful on the wall. Nest was born out of that frustration. The iPod for me was born out of the frustration that I was a, a DJ and that I had to lug around a thousand CDs. The technology finally was, uh, was brought to market for high capacity, small form factor storage. My portable experience came together with the love of music and then it spawned the, uh, the iPod. The products that have really inspired me, my first love, my Apple II. That was the first thing that actually brought the digital world to me and was able to you know, unlock this whole new technology. And then after that came the Walkman. I was a Walkman owner very early on, but you know, once you get satisfied with 15 songs, maybe you want a lot more than that. The next breakthrough was to be able to take basically most of the music you like wherever you go. And then after that came the digital camera. At the time, I was still in school. It was too expensive for me, but I, when I saw it, I was like, wait a second, there's something very, very different here. And it was very similar to the Walkman. I could, I could do what I want with it as soon as I thought of it. If you put those three things together, those were really kind of, you know, broadening of technology in my life and allowing me to understand that the basic technology, the microprocessor and memory and software, could be applied to many products. I look at all of the various pieces around the house. There are a lot of things that we can apply the same hardware software services to them. Is it going to be your toaster? Maybe, maybe not. You know, I still burn toast. So maybe one day the toaster will get actually a lot smarter so I don't burn the toast.